So now we will have a look at the use of PPE or personal protective equipment when caring for residents that are suspected or confirmed with COVID-19. So what PPE do we need? First of all, we need disposable single nitrate gloves. So these are made up of rubber rather than vinyl, so it makes them less permeable to COVID-19. We also need disposable plastic aprons um, and they're recommended to protect staff uniforms and clothes from contamination when providing direct patient care and when carrying out environmental and equipment decontamination. And obviously we need surgical face masks and they would be the fluid resistant type 11R. So when do we need to use long sleeved fluid resistant disposable gowns. So these are recommended where there's a risk of extensive splashing of blood and or bodily fluids. Um, so when you're within a metre of a resident and providing care. Um, the same thing with eye goggles, they should also be worn when there's a risk of contamination to the eyes from splashing of blood, bodily fluids, excretions or secretions, including respiratory secretions. And don't forget that the portal of entry into the body is also the eyes. So we do need to wear eye goggles if we're within one metre of the resident and we're providing care directly to them. Now, in the event that there is a shortage of disposable eye protection um, when, we're looking, when we're looking after residents with COVID-19, um, they can be reused. Um, so if we do need to reuse the disposable eye protection or goggles, first of all, what we do need to make sure is that there are no cloth elements um, on those goggles, goggles because they can't be um, effectively decontaminated. So if we're using them, obviously, if there's any sign of damage at all, we do need to discard them and get a new pair of goggles. Um, also, we would always need to make sure that they are visibly clean um, when we're using them. So if we find that they are very heavily soiled, then we do absolutely need to discard them um, because they can't really be effectively decontaminated. Now, if they are visibly clean, then we do just need to clean them um, carefully after use. So that means that we would decontaminate them using a disinfectant wipe or we would need to clean them with warm soapy water and then disinfect them. Um, looking at using the full personal protective equipment where you're looking after more than one resident in a particular area or unit, so, for example, if you have cohorted residents into one room or onto one designated isolation corridor, you don't have to um, change your surgical face masks um, when you're moving from one resident to another in a cohorted area. However, obviously, if your masks are in any way wet or soiled, they do need to be removed um, and replaced. Again, if you do take off your mask for any particular reason, so for example, if you remove your mask to go and answer the phone, then you cannot put the same mask back on again. You need to replace it with a new one. The same thing with your eye protection. Um, if you're looking after a number of residents in a cohorted area, then you can leave your eye protection on. And then when you're leaving the area, you will always remove your eye protection and move, remove your face mask. Um, and we will look at a video as to how you're going to do this correctly. Um, obviously, gloves are single use items and they do absolutely need to be changed in between residents. But also don't forget, if you're doing different tasks with the one resident, you may need to take off your gloves, clean your hands and put back on a fresh pair of gloves, particularly if you're moving from an unclean task with a resident to a clean task. So the examples there would be if you have been looking after residents' hygiene needs after elimination, um, you need to remove those gloves, clean your hands and put on a new pair of gloves before you would move on to a clean task with that resident. Again, obviously, plastic aprons and gowns should really be changed in between residents. Having said that, in relation to cohorting of residents where there is a shortage of gowns, you can leave the same gown on 
um, when pairing with different residents um, that are cohorted into the same area. However, again, you do need to change your gloves um, and do your hand hygiene in between each resident. And always make sure that your gowns are not wet or soiled or damaged. If they are, then you need to remove them and put on a clean one and a fresh one. So here we have a poster in relation to how to correctly put on your personal protective equipment and how to correctly remove your personal protective equipment. Um, we would recommend that when you do have um, gowning up and gowning down areas that you would put a poster like this up um, so that people can visually follow the prompts to make sure um, that they're doing it correctly. And it is very important that the way we put it on the personal protective equipment um, needs to be done accurately so that we can remove it correctly. Um, otherwise, you're going to have difficulties with removing things in the right order. So what we will do now is we will watch a video on how to correctly put on and remove your personal protective equipment.